some drill songs and some of those like I don't like that kind of music and I know that the beat is catchy so it's like good dancing you know Uzi came out with that watch my rock oh yeah it's him. not so drill Uzi I think Uzi trash I like I just wanna rock rock because it's a dance set, but I don't know nothing else he say in the song. I don't know one song that he raps for real. It's like the rap is not staying in our mind like the hooks. So if you just a hook artist, then hey, you're great. But if you wanna be like a rapper to me, I'm just like, you know, it's not my cup of tea. I mess with Uzi like back in 2017, 2018, that man was like he was like at his peak. Sing a song. I'm not doing it. Like rap or song, my friend. No. That's famous. Exactly. We can't remember. No, I can remember. I'm just not doing it. One that I know. You don't know. So, but okay. yeah, what's it called? So yeah, but back then he was cool. Now, I mean, like, he's not terrible, but you know, I don't listen to him no more, so I can't even say too much. Mm -hmm. All right. What about, um,. I love Cardi B. I hate how they was putting the girls against each other. They was doing that back in the day too. Like they was playing Little Kim versus Foxy Brown. And I always felt Little Kim was better. Um, but they both from Brooklyn and they should have not put them against each other. But because there was not a lot of women in hip hop, they put them against each other. When Queen Latifah came out, now Queen Latifah had that one song. I love that song. Who you calling up? You and I see you, uh, you gotta let them know. You ain't, you know, here we go. You know, she had that song. And she was real famous for that song. And they never put her up against the MC Light or the Yo Yo's of that time. So I don't know when that started happening, but it, it's, it's like now I love the girl power. The girl power right now is popping. 2023. Girl power is big. Yeah, but some girls still hating on this. For sure. Like, you still got the Cardi B and Nicki Minaj beef. Nah, the fans still keeping it going. They don't care about each other. But they don't like each other. So well, it's still duh. like a beef. Didn't they fight? Exactly. So that's a beef. It's not, though. They don't beef with each other. Like, it's the fans that keep, like, bringing it up and talking about it. They don't talk to each other. So, like, they don't, it's not really beef. They even got Nikki versus uh, Remy Ma. Remy Why? Ma and Nikki oh, can't stand can't each other. Yeah. They cannot stand each other. Uh, so, it's really Nikki is the main one because everybody don't like Nikki. And I feel like it was because Nikki was out so long by herself that she didn't want to share the spotlight with other females. I felt like she was going to lose herself or something if she shared the spotlight with other women. But she should have not felt like that because no she place. had her own sound. Yeah. Say that again. She has no choice. It's the she, music industry. People going to come in and come out every day. And if they be if they blow up and get famous, that's too bad for you. Like She like, has no choice but to share the spotlight. Quote, unquote. She didn't want to, though. If she had a choice, she wouldn't have. So I'm loving that Lotto is embracing Cardi because Cardi was here first. I'm loving um I'm loving how they embracing even Krishan Rock coming into the game. I'm loving how um who else? Remy and Cardi is cool as hell. The Lola, Lola's coming in. All of them love each other. Even Sexy Red is getting embraced. And I don't think she's that good. But they, they all embracing each other as girl power. So I think that's dope. I don't know, though. Because, like, I mean, they doing that, like, you know, on TV and stuff. But, like, behind the scenes, is it, is it really giving what we think is giving? But they wouldn't be featuring each other on songs and stuff if they really wasn't. Well, it, it's, it, I mean, it, it comes down to what your what your label and your team wants at that point. Like, if they think they're going to be good for you, they're going to do it. But Whether if you, you don't like them like, or not. Nah, because if you don't like them, you can't, they can't force you to do a song with somebody. 
You you saying that as if they have to be in the studio with each other to do a song together. They don't have to be nowhere near each other to do a song together. That's true. Even for the videos, they don't have to be with each other. Exactly. But they showing they showing the camaraderie as like in the award shows and stuff. That's so, the award shows. They don't have to be cordial. It's more than cordial. You don't think it's like friendship to me. It's not Where cordial. It's not like hey girl, how you doing? It's like what's up. You know, it's more like a a love to me. I'm saying, how they hugging on each other, they chopping it up, like we hanging out after this, like they on some friendship. Okay, you don't think so? It's none of my business. I think so. All right, so let me explain another part of hip hop that I don't see these days. So back in the day, we had like Wu Tang Clan. It was like a group of eight of them. We had Dipset. Dipset was a bunch of them too. That's where Jim Jones, Cameron, all of them came from. And then we had like um, with Wu Tang, we had the Method Man, you know, uh, Red Man, all of them, ODB. All of them ended up being solo artists, but they all were clicked up first. Are uh, y'all seeing too many clicks these days, like coming out as a whole group of brand and then they branch out or not? Nah? nah, the only one I saw that was Migos and that was it. Migos. That, and they back know. together. They're not. They perform together. They're not back together. Well, on the um, entertainment tonight, um, they said they uh, they going to get back together because that's what that's what take off with a one. So that's a great thing if they that, do that. I mean, it's cool, but like you gonna do that when, you know, when, when he's gone. Yeah, <clears throat> they couldn't resolve it while he was alive for some reason. Uh, another group that's coming out, I see more as like boy bands and stuff like that. Not so much in the hip hop world. In the hip hop, everybody's coming as solo artists. Because, like, even when we had Biggie versus Tupac, we had Death Row, we had Bad Boy. Bad Boy is still doing music. Not so much Death Row. Because, um, you know, Sugar's gone and everything. We don't see too much Death Row no more. But we still see a lot of uh, Bad Boy. And what do you think about Diddy's son? He's in y'all age group. He's trying to be, like, a big deal. Dude. I don't remember, bro. Like, right? Ain't that crazy? I just know. I just know his father. I think that's kind of crazy because his father's big, and we don't really know too much about his son. I just know his son do that famous dance. That's it. I don't know his music, so I thought that was kind of crazy. Um, 